Welcome back to PTL, everyone. Well, this morning we are surrounded by art and not only art here at the Carnegie Museum, we are talking about fashion art because we are featuring the Ecolution Fashion Gala that is going to be right here uh, next Tuesday, I believe. And so uh, Emilio from Azazu is one of the co-founders and I know that this has been around for over a decade. We're excited yes. to bring this fashion to Pittsburgh. Uh, we, we are so thrilled to have this going on. We are approaching almost a decade of just fashion, music, art, and dance. And you know, the biggest thing that we love is this is all about recycling, repurpose, reuse. And that's what, think of this like a Met-like gala when yes. you think about like the fashions that you're getting to see, all local artists from around the area here challenging themselves and doing using repurposed materials. In fact, what we're thrilled about is to sh share with you actually Brandy. We'll swing it over to Brandy and share with you what she's actually doing here. Yes, yeah, so Brandy's actually a stylist at Azazu. And so this is your first year trying this, correct? Yes, this is my first year. Uh, in the fashion world. I normally do hair at Zazu Salon. So my whole piece is inspired by things that I found at the salon. So we have anything from a belt, which is made from bobby pins. And then we have this lovely piece. This is all hair color swatches. That is so incredible. I yes when I saw this because I love the creativity of this. Thanks. And also the earrings, we have their nail swatches. So I kind of spin on the left brain, right brain, and since the theme is the unseen world, it's all neutral on the one side, and the other side we had colorful. Gosh, this is amazing, Brandy. Thank you so much, and I know that you're you're gonna rock it on the uh, at Thank the you. fashion gala. Now we also have these featured as well. We have Brian David, who actually has been uh, a featured designer for the past several years, and these are incredible. I know this is your very first piece. Uh, yes, thank you. This is uh, the blue bag dress. Um, so it's made from repurposed blue bags. Um, this was my first entry in. Uh, it consists of about 150 bags and the interior is constructed with uh, clear packing tape. So there is absolutely no fabric in this. Um, there is no traditional uh, piecing or construction as far as that goes. Uh, so this was really a stretch for my sense of creativity because my uh, background is in classical tailoring. Um, yeah. So to work with materials that are unconventional and that are different was just walking into a whole new world for me. Yeah, I love the matching purse too, but we also have this showstopper. This is amazing. Tell us about this one. So this was last year's dress. Uh, this was actually constructed from a full set of encyclopedias. Um, and in the process of looking for a set of encyclopedias to do this dress, I found that there was such a strong association that people had with them. Although it's an outdated point of reference for people, they hold so much like family lineage. When I reached out on Facebook to ask mm -hmm. people about it, I said, you know, hey, do you have a set of encyclopedias? And I got a lot of people that said, yes, I do. It's bowing the shelf in my dining room. And yeah. I said, great, would you be interested in donating them? And they said, well, you know, this really symbolizes my parents coming into their own and really establishing their sense of adulthood. So there's a lot of connection with that. And yeah. this set actually came from my house. Oh, wow. um, it was the one that I grew up using for references for my school projects. And as I was doing it, I was finding all the bookmarks from like the, the leaf project from seventh grade. Oh, and so you know, cool. re researching Marie Antoinette in yeah. you know, ninth grade. So it was really interesting. Yeah, it's so cool to know how you are connected to these pieces and how creative you all are. This gives everybody in Pittsburgh an opportunity to not only create some pieces, but also if you're a person in the audience, you get to enjoy these beautiful, beautiful fabrics fashions that will sustain for the rest of the future for future generations to come. It's really interesting. We were just talking oh, about encyclopedias too, not too long ago, but to see that, I, how it's, it's beautiful. all full, I mean, yes, yeah. and even the, the, the blue bags, yeah. I want to wear that. I, I know. As soon as Heather saw it, I was like, oh, what is that? That's so yeah. much fun. Well, the Ecolution Fashion Gala happens Wednesday, June 7th. So it's Wednesday of next week at the Carnegie Museum. And we have a link with more info on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.